Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Actually, I was not planning to start the video right here, but I just came home from work and there were, yeah, there was a lot of mail in the mailbox. And I don't think it's the things that I'm expecting to get. So that would be like two f things from the bank. First of all, the, the bank card and then like one of those um, security scanning code things. I don't know if you know what I mean, but I don't think it's in those. And I don't know why, but every time I receive mail that I'm not expecting, I'm a bit scared that I have to pay fees because of the one thing I got from the Post Nord, like the Swedish um, post service. Yeah, so we will see how it goes. I think this was just like a traumatic experience for me, but maybe it's just something positive, some... I don't know what I'm going to expect. <laughs> okay, let's see. By the way, what is it? It doesn't say, it's just like a priority. Okay, it is my bank. That is a good thing. So I think it's my my banking card then. Here, comma, dit, bank court. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is my banking card. Okay, those cards are really, really um, bendable. If I compare that to my... Oh, wait, okay. My German credit card is also very bendable, so... Maybe it's that it's common. I really thought like, okay, this is basically easily breakable, but it's not. So I have a card now. That's the first good thing. Okay, what else? Another priority mail that I have received. I actually don't really understand what it like, what exactly is written down here. But um, basically, it is a reminder. Hey, do you want to get Freya EID? which is basically another online identification service in Sweden next to the banking ID. But like, this is one of those things again. I received that thing for this identification without even, <laughs> without even doing anything. Like, <laughs> they know my address, they know everything. Bam. I think it's very handy. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Okay, also something positive. And now we have Wahlmündigheten. So I think it means something like um, your right to vote for something. But let's see what that means. But I think that is nothing negative. So <laughs> we will see. I got another empty envelope. <laughs> but there's something else in here. Okay, there it is. Okay, that is very interesting because this, I think I can show, oh well, um, no, okay, I cannot show it, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that is pretty interesting. This is um, a document that I can fill out to register to the Swedish electoral role for elections to the European Parliament. Uh -huh. Elections will be held in every EU country. You can choose whether to vote in your country of citizenship or here in Sweden, where you are listed in the population register. Register if you wish to vote. You must be added to the... Uh -huh, please fill in the details. According to the population register, your country of citizenship is Tyskland, so Germany, yes. Enter the name of your const constituency in your country. Uh, if you do, don't know the name of your constitu constituency, please enter the name of your town. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. contact details, mobile phone, email signature. <laughs> okay, this is crazy, but thank you very much. It's good to know. Okay, what do you guys think? Should I vote in Germany or should I vote in Sweden for the European Parliament? Okay, well, that was an interesting start of this video. And as I can already see, eight minutes. <laughs> I don't know how, how short I make it in the end. But today was actually a bit stressful at work, which is due to the fact that, well, I had to get things done that I was not able to do last week due to yeah two days working from home, one day fully missing. 
but I think I got through most of it so that I can finish a lot of the things tomorrow so I yeah, don't have too much stress and yeah and then I think I will get back to a very easy going routine in the Swedish working life. Yeah, and besides that, sleeping is also okay. I think I will go to bed early today again and then I should be fine. Yeah, and with that said, I think this is the end of the video. I hope you had a wonderful day. Today is actually looking pretty pretty good outside. Oh yeah, very bright. <laughs> no, it is not so cloudy to be honest. So it's nice. And yeah, but we will see each other in tomorrow's video. Bye bye.